Hey, this is Mark the Meerkat Suffering here at FreeOnlineTrainingEducation.com, and a happy Thanksgiving to you all. More on that at the end of the video. I like to t today's lesson is on when do you take a tilt break? Uh, this is a trade that we had a couple of trades on Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -A. Here it was at right at opening, and it was forming a bear pullback or a pullback sell. If you want to know more about that particular formation, it looks like this. Here, you just go to our free chart school under pullback sell, and there's a dis written description of it, and here is a picture of it where it runs down and it starts to pull back up and then as it starts to roll over that's a bearish formation and that's what it started to do here and now the markets right now were at a high and now they were starting to roll down as well so I set a trade and I was concerned about this 200 period moving average but uh, let's see where it went from there and bam look at that fell down here beautiful and I didn't get in though until uh, $14.52 but I wanted to make sure it broke below that 200 period moving average and the markets were rolling down. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get, we're short on Alibaba. Now let's see what happened next. I'm going to set my stop just above that 200 period moving average. Could be major line of resistance there going up. So I'm protecting my stop from there. And let's see where we go from now. It's a little basing a little bit and boom, pop right back up there. Look at that. Just pierced all that and then came around and started to form another bear pullback. So stop me out at fourteen dollars and eighty two cents for minus zero point three percent in what one two three four four minutes or five minutes. But I was nimble and I went ahead and I saw another bear pullback setting up here. Again, the markets are falling, supporting looking for shorts, and I went ahead and I set an order and then Stop me in right. I'm now short at 114 and 47 cents. I'm short Alibaba. And now I'm going to set my trade, my stop right up here above this 20 moving average and the 200 period moving average. Two shields against my stop. And what happens? It fell down there. Cool, cool, cool. Bringing my stop down now just above this bear. Now these are together. Double shield against it. Put it up here just above the 200 period moving average. And hope starts to come up and look at that. The 200 period average did look at that. It acted perfectly as resistance and rolled right back down. That's why I put my stop just above it, right? And then look at this. We're getting ready to go. And then it blew to the upside here. Hit its head on the on the uh, 50 moving average up there, but stopped me out here at at uh, 114.70 uh, and for a minus 0.2 percent in uh, I don't know 10 minutes or so. At this point I was getting extremely frustrated because on Alibaba I had two trades in a row, expense trades that immediately turned on me and I had three of them on uh, PBA. So uh, at this point I needed to take a tilt. Why? Because my emotions were getting in the way. We have 10 trading rules that we teach people in mentoring. Number six on that is that emotions while trading can kill your account. Both good emotions and bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you, that happens, take a tilt break. Eat, and just go step away, get your emotions back in check. Did that and then ended up, I was break even after 10 trades a day. And on the 11th trade, I was able to make 1.3% and that was my net gain for the day. Yeah, persistence pays off. Now, happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you, and let's count our blessings this Thanksgiving, especially that of financial freedom that we have to take control of our own accounts. Trade well.